Well, for me, coming from Scandinavia and then coming to, you know, Manchester, where everything, everything is red brick, it was very, like, it was a big contrast. And then you come to Manchester School of Architecture and I was like, what, what is sort of okay to do like what materials uh, are we expected to use and then coming into my third year I've realized you know it's less about what we're expected to do and like more about um, finding solutions that suit our designs and then making it work. Model making would in first year maybe limit your designs uh, but the more you get to know the workshop and the more you get to know uh, how to work with materials and how they fit together, it becomes more of a, of a tool than a limitation. And so you can do more and um, experiment more. So for example, my model, I want to, I've got these railway arches. It's all about this kind of intersection between this infrastructure. So I want to make that the centre is kind it like of, a viaduct or is yeah, it a castle field? That, castle field, yeah. Okay. So I haven't made it yet, but I'm working on this model now that hopefully that will kind of really come across as the main kind of epicenter of this site where they meet and they intersect. And uh, and then on top of that would be my building all around it. I've done a really rough model of the site, 1 to 500, just to kind of get a grip about what's there and how it works. And then now I'm going slightly smaller scale to show more context. So hopefully I can use these two models to really explore my design. Because in first year I was a very like digital person and I was like when the tutor said, well, do this by hand and doing it on the computer isn't the same thing, I would be like, yeah, well, but we grew up with computers and this is like how we learn best and stuff. But I think model making is something that is completely different from computer models, even though it's essentially the same object. Um, you get a whole different sort of relationship to your building by holding it in your hands and like feeling it. It's the same because I finished one to two hundred thousand. Uh, the the small model I told. <laughs> yes, it's uh, the whole city. Mm -hmm. So it's very small model, but uh, I feel it's really effective. Then yeah. I moved to a bigger scale, moving into the site and surrounding. Yeah. And the next stage is to zoom in again into my building and. Yeah. Uh, immediate context. It took ages to, to finish, but the, the end result was um, really satisfactory for myself. And I think that's why so many people prefer model making to drawing, because uh, drawing out a plan will tell you where the doors and windows are, but it won't tell you what it's like to be in that space. So you want to build it and then take it out into daylight and see if it really works. It would be a shame if you started like going to clients with just 3D models and not physical models, because I don't think you get that same relationship with your building.